Well, look what the cat drug in, girl. Come on in and have you a seat. I was just thinking about you the other day. Uh, what is that you got on, girl? You look good. Mm-hmm. Mess around, catch you a new man. What it is you got on? That fashion over? Yes, girl. You know they be the plug. Mm-hmm. Girl, I felt so good, I just decided to pull up a chair and have me some iced tea outside. It's so nice and cool. I love autumn. Girl, I felt so good today, I got up and went to the gym. Did one hour on the treadmill, just walking and clearing my mind and having me a good time. I felt so good, I decided I'm going to eat me a little sandwich. You know, try to eat healthy. So I went to the supermarket. Girl, tell me who I ran into on aisle four. Pastor Jenkins' wife. Girl, her skirt was shorter than my husband's temper. <laughs> but you ain't heard that from me. Okay. <laughs> Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. Okay guys, so I'm back to do another video, but you know we got to start off with the hair. So today I decided that I am going to share with you how I style my units, like when I, when I just want to do something really, really quick and fast and simple, you know, like I just want to bump up the front mostly. So today I already did a video on this hair, child. I got my little Japanese coffee. This is iced coffee. I love it. I've never ever really cared for iced coffee, but my husband introduced it to me in Jamaica. And <laughs> this day culture, honey. So you see what I'm saying? I absolutely love this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take me a little shot because I need a little booster. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ooh. So nice and refreshing. Woo do woo. Yes. Okay, so today's hair is from Sunbur. I already did a video installing this hair, but in that video I didn't have baby hairs and I did a side part and since then I went in and I changed it up. I really, really like baby hairs. I tried the no baby hair thing, but I really like baby hairs. So I went in and I added some baby hairs to this, like I cut some baby hairs and I'm doing a side, uh, a middle part today. Like I really love, you know, baby hairs with a nice little middle part so, so I'm just gonna show you how I style this really really quick now this is the what is this I'm gonna tell you hold on I got you this is the Indian body wave I have four bundles of 26 inches I did go in and cut this and add some layers and I have a 20 inch frontal like I said in the previous video, I did a side part with no baby hair. Today, I'm doing a middle part and I added some baby hair. So let's just go ahead and jump into this. Today, I am going to be using the gold and hot curling wand. I really like this. This is the one and a quarter inch and it's super hot. It goes up to 500. Right now, I have it set to maybe like 480 or so. So let's just go in and do what it do. Okay. Now, I'm not going to curl the whole entire thing. This is when I want a fast, like a little, fat, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just need to bump up the front because I already curled the hair in the previous video. And the curls have still held up. So, that's a good indication that this holds a curl. Let me take this off so you can see. As you can tell, there's still some curls in it. And that's from like two weeks ago. But the front needs a little bit of help. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. You feel me? Before we get started, I am going to be using this, I don't know, heat protectant spray. It's kind of like an oil heat protectant spray, so I like it because it gives a little bit of sheen, but you don't wanna go in with a heavy hand with this because it can really weigh down the hair, and I just need a little light mist in the front anyway. So <laughs> that's it, booty woo. You don't need much because I'm only bumping up the front, okay? So. Let's go ahead and do the do. I'm going to be curling away from the face. So I'm not going to start directly in the front, in the front. I'm going to start a little bit back here, like so. And you don't need to be precise with this. And I'm going to be doing half and half. So I'm going to split this in half again. And I'm going to curl the bottom area. And then I'm going to do the top. And then I'm going to do this section right here. Super, super easy. And it's going to look like you know <laughs> we put a lot of effort into this <laughs> when we really didn't okay and I'm curling away from the face okay and I'm starting up here and I'm gonna take my time slide it down and like I said with this curling iron you don't need to stay a long time in one area because it's super hot and that's why I like it that's why I got the hot curling iron and this hair is really really bomb so it curls super easily super quick and I'm talking to you in real time so you can see exactly how long I'm gonna leave this on I'm gonna do just one and then I'm gonna speed up the rest of the video so we can move on to the application but I want to show you guys this part because I always get asked how do you style the hair how do you style the hair so this is how I style the hair after I've already styled the hair but 
but I want to kind of like bump it up and look, do a little touch up. You know what I'm saying? I always do it off my head. I never do it on because it's just easier, you know. That probably too long. I'm talking to y'all. Okay, so nice little curl, as you can tell. Nice little curl, nice little curl. So what I'm gonna do from here, okay, okay, do not laugh, okay. So this is a Japanese tea bottle, and what I did is I just cut out a whole entire section right here, cut off the top, cut out a little section. I kept the bottom piece for any drippage, you know, and I would put the curl in here and I would spray it down that way. I don't get anything on my hand and my hands, you know, and I kind of bounce it around like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna think I'm so ghetto, child. I be doing what I do, okay? Don't come in here judging me. And I hold it like this, scrunch it up a little bit, let it go, and that's gonna be great. Okay, so let's go ahead, speed this video up, and do the rest, okay? That's basically what I do. Give me something, something good. Okay, so you guys know how I like to do it. I like to style the hair further down in the video, like when we get down there, okay? You know, I don't like to do it now because I feel like they're gonna flop, you know, by the time I'm done. So I like to do my face and then, you know, style the hair. So you have to wait for further down in the video for all of that good stuff. So yeah, don't forget to check out Sunbra Hair. All the information for this hair will be in the description box and all of that good stuff. Really, really, really bomb hair. And I just want you guys to know, like I have to sift through the junk to bring good stuff to you because sometimes I feel like these people be like, what? I'd be like, what is they doing, okay? Whenever you see me work with a company more than once, I really, really do like that company. I promise you have some really, really good hair. So, so all of that being said, without further ado, let's zoom in so we can get within. Okay, welcome to my face. <laughs> okay, so as you can tell, the brows are on and my base is on, so I'm just ready to apply my eyeshadow. So today I am going to be testing out a indie brand, okay? Some new stuff coming through. This one is called, what is this? September Rose Cosmetics. And I'm gonna be working with this one. This one is called Brew. They also sent me Slushy too, and she's basically like a summer palette. She is full of summer colors. So, you know, this, I'm gonna save this for another time but they look really really good um, these are all mattes by the way so I'm gonna put this one <laughs> aside because you know I promise you guys fall colors so we're gonna be doing fall colors okay and brew has them for us okay you open her up and she is loaded with lots of fall type colors really really exciting stuff going on in here I feel like I'm gonna be playing with this color today like I'm gonna do like a little smoky burgundy look you, you, you feel me um, yeah and for my base just so you guys know I use black opals concealer in bronze this one is you know a lot darker so because I'm going to be doing dark colors, I felt like we should do a dark base. You feel me? Okay. So, uh, first things first, what it do, what it do, come through, scooby doo doo do. Okay. This is the second time while recording this, this thing that I did not press record. Come again. Okay, so for my first color, I'm going to be using Spice Chai, okay? And with that, I'm going to start to press that into my crease area 
and then I'm gonna go in and blend it out even though I'm doing like a really you know neutral type of thing going on I really want the colors to pop either which way so this is my first time to play with this stuff so we're doing it together okay we're experiencing it together okay as usual to help me blend my situation I like to go in with a loose powder and I tend to always grab the Huda Beauty Kunafa powder you know I really like it not only does it smell good nice and smooth really nice and thin you know it just helps the situation so I need to set that concealer under my brow before I go in and start to blend out anything because it's still tacky you know what I'm saying so you always want to go in and set that and then you're gonna have like a really nice smooth situation under that brow area girl we're gonna go in with ginger and blend out that transition color ginger is just a lot softer compared to this one over here as you can who that is over there girl is that me holding up a palette for the world to see <laughs> we're gonna go in with ginger ginger is a lot softer compared to you know spice what is it spice chai okay we're gonna go in with this burgundy shade in the corner right here and with that I'm just going to pat that all over the lid and really spruce it up this whole entire palette is matte only two shades are shimmer and that is those two gold shades right there you have a yellow gold and you have like a little bronzy gold situation going on but everything else is matte so just thought I should let you guys know Okay, so I'm gonna go in with that same color and very lightly on a small like little dome brush I'm gonna go in and start to blend out What's going on there you know what I'm saying because it's too strong but very lightly I tap into the color and I just go in and lightly feather out the edges And that's how I like to blend out my eyeshadows very very easy as you can tell it's already softening up Okay, so to zhuzh it up a little extra, um, I'm gonna go in with Loose Leaf. Now, this is a tricky color. I don't know if it's dark green or if it's black and my eyes are playing tricks on me. But you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? And I swatched it a while ago. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm just a little, I don't know. Is it black or is it dark green? Whatever the case may be, I'm going to use that to kind of smudge and create like a liner effect. So, I'm gonna smoke it out a little extra. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm also going to do the same thing on the lower lash line. Just smoke it out very, very close to the lash line. That way you have that transition between the black and the burgundy. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush. And I'm going to push that black up into this situation right here. Because I don't want it to be sharp like that. So I'm just going to kind of feather it up into the burgundy. Just kind of blend it out and feather it upwards like just on the corner right here, you just want to push it out, you know, whoop to whoop. Go in with a little blender brush and soften up that area even more. And you should have something that looks like that. Okay, so from here, I am going to apply my lashes. Now, I'm going to talk about these lashes for a minute because... Uh, they were so gracious to send me so many and they're really really bomb and I just want to share them with you Okay, so that is partially it for the eyes. So now I'm gonna apply my lashes All right, I'm probably not gonna apply them on camera on camera, but I'm gonna be telling you what I'm using makes sense Okay, so today my lashes are from lash lady. Let me say make sure I'm saying that right Yes, no lady lashes you see, that's why you gotta look and make sure you understand you ain't butchering these people's names. <laughs> so they are from Lady Lash, and I will put their handle and everything downstairs. Downstairs. Down in the description box. <laughs> Work with me. Okay. So they sent me a bunch of their mink lashes. Um, they sent me about eight, nine, ten of their lashes, and they're all bomb. They're all different. I mean, they're really, 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 really pretty. Get 
the other four. I can't show you everything because it's just gonna be long, long, you know what I'm saying? But still, I just wanted to share this with you. They're really beautiful. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're really bomb, you know what I'm saying? And I gotta be supporting my little sisters out there doing the do. So I don't even know which one of these I wanna wear because when I first saw them, I was like, oh my God, all of these look bomb. Okay, they look bomb diggity. And they all have names and all of that. So I'm just gonna go through and select, you know, what I wanna wear and then you'll see that. They have their own scissors. They sent me scissors, y'all. Let me put it up, you know what I'm saying? Lady Lash. They sent me a mini eyelash curler. I am so grateful. And this is what I'm excited about. They sent me like a rose gold set. You have the tweezer and you have the eyelash curler. I just thought that, that was so bomb. And they have their own little glue and everything. So I'm gonna be using these today to apply these lashes. But first, let me go through and pick one that I want to wear today because they're all bomb. Girl, they also sent me like this little clear lash holder that you can put the lashes in it has their name right here lady lash and it's magnetic so it's super easy to open you know open it up and it's super easy to put back because it's just it's magnetic so it snaps in place like <laughs> i'm feeling this like this is just so bomb like the whole thing like girl come through do to do let me go ahead and pick a lash man okay so today i feel very supreme <laughs> so i'm going to be using supreme that's the name of this one as you can tell hello Oh, I'm going to have that camera up. Okay, so that's Supreme, and that's what she looks like in there. So I really like how that looks. So we're going to play with her. Okay, so before I apply my lashes, I always like to go in and back curl my lashes. So this is also by, whatchamacallit, Lady Lash. Really, really cute. So we're going to try her out because she's pretty wide. Oh, that's a nice fit. I like that. Mm-hmm no pinching okay so now that the lashes are on it's time to move on to the face so you guys already know what we about to do we about to zoom out so we can okay i know you know my body so got a king body body gonna shine bling bling body calling all the shots ring ring body crown on my head got a king body <laughs> Okay, to moisturize, I like to use my Nivea cream. This is the soft one. I really like this one right now compared to the heavy one. Like, I just feels like it helps my skin not be so oily under the makeup, but you gotta moisturize people, like, no matter what. Okay, for my primer, now that it's getting a lot cooler, I don't feel like I need the heavy primer, especially the, uh, the putty type primer, the Tatcha primer, because it's really, really matte. So I need a little bit more moisture because my skin tends to be a little bit more dry when the seasons start to change and it gets a little bit cooler compared to in the summertime where it's really hot, I sweat, the oils come through and all of that. So today I'm just gonna be using Fenty. Ciao. Okay. And I like to apply her with a brush. I like to apply everything with a brush, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. It's just that tick. Okay. We all got one. Okay. For my second primer, I have had this sitting down for a while. And it's really good. And I don't know why I stopped using it. Like, okay. But this is the Dr. Brand Pour No More Primer. Okay. That's what I look like. Looking like that. Okay. I'm just going to squeeze some onto my brush also. I'm gonna go in and put her like right in the top areas and on my nose, like where I tend to get really, really oily. And for my little gem, I am telling you, this has literally changed my makeup game. This has changed, this, this has brought peace to my life. This is Groundwork by MAC. This is their paint pot. I use this, I use uh, Painterly, and I use Girl Friendly. It doesn't matter, I just rotate. They all do the same thing. It's really, really bomb. And I tell you, no creasing, it's just everything. And I like to apply it with a sponge. So I just go in and dab, get a little bit. You don't need much, okay? Just a little something, something. And just tap that right into that trouble spot. And I'm telling you, your makeup is going to be sitting. You have to make it dry though, because this also dries, like this dries to a powdery finish, so bomb. This is everything, everything. Anywhere you have creasing on your face, you wanna try this product, I am telling you. If it's under your eyes, try it there. If it's your forehead, try it there. For me, it's right here. No creasing, no nothing. I'm talking flawless all day long. You hear me? For my foundation today, I am going to be using Fenty. I really, 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 really love this foundation. I just hate that I have to mix, okay? So, <laughs> I don't know what that is all about, honey, but anyway. 
So I have 390, which is very light, and I have 495, which is extremely dark, but the two together, two pumps of this, one of this, heaven. Okay, let's go. And with this, you wanna pounce with a bounce, baby, okay? Pounce, 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 pounce. Ooh, we gone. <laughs> okay. Okay, for my concealer, I'm gonna keep it in the same family. Okay, so we're gonna be using Fenty, and this one is 380. And then we're gonna go in and contour. You guys know what I like to do, okay? Also by Fenty, this is their matchstick in Espresso, and I'm gonna use this to contour today. So first things first, I like to go in and blend out my contour before I touch my concealer because once I do my concealer, I wanna set it right away. There's no dilly, no dally, and all of that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go in with my brush and start to push out that color. Also a really nice color. I could go a few shades lighter. This one's pretty deep. But it is what it is, but we gonna push through. Ooh, look how slim we look already, child. And we ain't even went to the gym. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and set, uh, not set, but blend out my concealer. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we're gonna go in and set it right away. Okay, I'm feeling this look already. Did I, did, did I come through? No? Yes? I don't know, y'all. Y'all tell me. Okay, so to set this face and bring it to life, I am going to be using Black Opal's Medium Light Setting Powder. This is their Ultra Matte Foundation Setting Powder. It's full coverage and it is just, I'm telling you, even though it looks white like this on camera, like it looks really, really light, doesn't it? Like in person, it's a beautiful, beigey, yellowy color. It's just fun. You'll see it once I put it on. Like it comes to life once I put it on. It's everything, okay. And here we go, looking into something that has no mirror. <laughs> And I like to use my damp beauty sponge to do this. Like it just, it just brings it to life. Like it activates it and brings it. Do you see what's going on or do you not see what's going on? Tell me what's going on. Look how pretty that is. You see what I'm, it just takes it to a whole nother level. For the rest of my face, I'm going to be using Fenty's Nutmeg. Okay, we gonna, okay, I'm feeling this like, okay. First you wanna pat it before you go in and buff it, okay? Always pat it before you buff. Pat the product in, set the foundation before you go in and start creating havoc on your face. All that work you put in, and then you go and create streaks because you ain't set it first. Don't make me come for you, okay? To intensify that contour some more, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Mocha Bronzer in Mocha Mami. <laughs> Okay, you got a bronzy fi if you want to catch Poppy's eyes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Lonely the king, you the king, you know it. Okay. And to chisel under my jaw and intensify that, I like to go in. Come on now. With the black opal deep powder, it's a lot more neutral. It's not that red. And if you watch my last video, I explained why I like to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Mons from yards, yeah? Winky, winky. Don't know. Stinky, stinky. Bring it to life. For my nose, you guys know how it goes, okay? I am so sorry. Look, it looks like Morphe has discontinued this brush. I am so, so sorry, but the number is E46. It was correct. Um, <laughs> keep checking them, though. I can't, I don't see why they would discontinue. This is such a good brush. Like, who wouldn't want this? That's why when you buy stuff, you buy two. Cause these companies be doing stuff, you see what I'm saying? And no, I'm not gonna give away my extra one cause this one might fall apart and then what I'm gonna do? I love y'all though. I'm gonna look for something, I'm gonna look for something comparable for you guys, okay? I'm gonna try and find another, a great nose contour brush. I'm gonna look for something for you. But this one is bomb. If you can find this one, get it. Okay, for my blush, I have yet to move on. I am so sorry, but I love this blush. I really do. And it's the Bella Blush. Okay, this is from the Afrique Collection. This is the Bella Blush by Juvia's Place. We're gonna go in with her. She's just pretty, like, you know, she does it. 
she does it for me like look at that okay done I just need to do my mascara and my highlight and stuff like that for my highlight I'm going to be using Genesis by melt cosmetics okay really bomb rose gold type of highlight situation okay and uh, I like to just hit the high parts of my cheeks like right here mm -hmm. tie it in. you see what I'm saying? push it up under there you see what I'm saying get blend the whole situation so when you turn it just seamless you see what I'm saying to whoa okay I skip my forehead I skip my chin I do my nose and my cupid's bow that's it okay for my waterline this is the reflect eyeliner by melt cosmetics and it's a little shimmery it's not you know like a matte you get what I'm saying it has a little bit of shimmer hello camera it's a little bit of shimmer in it so I'm gonna use this for my waterline it'll tie in you see what I'm saying so I'm gonna do that Okay, for my tear duct color, I am very tempted not to do anything at all because I really like how this looks by itself, but I wanna put a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, just go all out and use the palette, you see what I'm saying? Because it's a really beautiful palette. So I'm tempted between these two right here. So I think I'm gonna go with the more yellow gold and that's called iced tea, okay. And I'm not gonna do a whole lot. Just, you know, I'm not gonna make it like super intense. Just a little something, something. Just a little shimmer. You see what I'm saying? Like a little dust. Just a little, that's it. You see what I'm saying? Just a little dust. Dust it in there. Okay, for my lips, I am, I'm torn in between two. Torn in between the two. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I am tempted to go with a really like deep red, but I'm also like, you know, this look would just be so pretty with a nude lip. Okay, so first thing first, I'm gonna go in with BFF and Pitch by ColourPop. They, I know they have BFF4, but I have yet to get it. Like, I am just tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I remember that I blink, something new come out. Okay. No believe in nothing but the almighty. Just a little jeans and a pure white tea. Tonight I might fall in love, depending on how you hold me. I'm glad that I'm coming down. I can't let no one can control me. Keep dancing and call it love. She fighting but falling slowly. Hey, in complexion, but your skin it glow like diamonds. Dig me like the earth you be giving birth. Uh. Okay, for my lips today, I am going to be trying out the new lip gloss by Sugar Pill, and this is called Flicker, and she is so pretty. Like, she's just full of glitter. Like, do you see that? Uh, what is that on my nail? Go away. <laughs> do you see how beautiful she is? Like, let's do it, baby. Let's just do it, okay? Like Nike. Very nude, soft, glittery, ready for fall. Ooh, do do do. do. Okay, 
guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am just building myself today. I'm feeling this fall look, you know, good way to just enter fall, like just go for it, you see what I'm saying? Yes, don't forget to check out Sunbra hair. The hair is absolutely bomb. Yes, all the information for this unit will be in the description box down below, okay? Yeah, yeah, whoop de whoop, shibbity boop, boop, boop. If it is your first time here, please subscribe, join the family, hit the notification bell while you're at it, and all of that good stuff. Nothing but good vibes only. We try to keep it positive inside here. No negativity, y'all. We can't be bothered with that. We don't want no gray hairs and we don't want no wrinkles, so we just can't. You see what I'm saying? It's a nice little escape, so I'm asking you please to respect our space. If you don't like nothing that's going on in here, you do not have to stay, okay? And I say that with love, all right? Make sure that you comment down below. I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna hear your feedback, your thoughts, what's going on with you, all of that good stuff. I can't comment back all the time, but I read each and every single thing. I love you guys for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your love and your support and all of that good stuff. Share the video, guys. Help me to get out there. You know you guys are all that I have when it comes to this whole entire YouTube situation. So for me to get recognized, I need you guys to help. Okay, uh, yeah, make sure you follow me on all of my social media platforms, which is Instagram, Snapchat, everything is under Savannah Silver. And what am I leaving out until the next video? I will see you guys real soon. Take care of yourselves. And uh, yeah. <laughs>